everybody. You ready for soccer day two? This is the equipment we need. We need some sort of softball that you can hit. Um, any ball should do as long as it's not going to hurt your toes, like a basketball or something. You don't want to be kicking a basketball. You can really hurt your feet. And we need some jump ropes if you have them. If you don't have jump ropes, we can do imaginary jumps for our warm-ups. And then we need some sort of marker. I just grabbed these uh, wiffle balls, but you could use uh, plastic cups um, as cones. We're going to be setting these up just to dribble the soccer ball around them when we're dribbling. We learned how to dribble yesterday, so we'll quickly review that and set up a course to dribble around today. All right, for warm-ups, we have our normally four laps. We don't have a gym here, so we're going to be running down the street again and back two times. Anybody joining me, boys? Or am I going by myself? You go by yourself. <laughs> we already yeah, did it. Right. You did it yesterday. Okay, here we go. I'm going to start with my laps. And I'm going to beat her with my laps. the whole time if you have somebody to talk to. Okay, lap two. Let's go, guys. Am I going by myself? Yeah. Hiya. Hi. Hey, that's my ball. Without a rope, if you've got one, find a spot, Tanner. Brighton, let's go. Can you do 20? My kids have been working on this all year and they're very good. I can do it. Bro. And you're getting better too. One, two, good, Tanner. Three, four, now, if you remember how to eight, measure your rope, you stand on the rope and the handle should come up too. Your armpits or your shoulders. It's raining. It's I think boring. this one is a little too short for me, but I'll use it anyway because this is what I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Five. I only did one more than ten. That's great. I I'll do. Do it without. Imaginary. Finish up with imaginary. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eighteen. I'm working on my jogging set. Nineteen. Twenty. I'm around my head. Okay, Tanner, what's next? Do you remember? Sucker! No! Sit-ups! Yeah, I know. Suckers? Find a soft spot to do your sit-ups. You don't want to land anything hard like the street. Alright. One. You tired from yesterday? You ready? Two, Two. <laughs> three. And if you're having trouble doing sit ups, you can do crunches where you get your shoulders four, your shoulders and your head off the ground. That works just as well. And if your parents are holding your feet or an older sibling, you could <laughs> keep going. You're on six. Hold on to their hands and let let them pull themselves up. You can do it by yourself. Seven. You want your arms across your chest, not on your neck, pulling your neck when you sit up. Nine. Ten. Okay, you can hold my feet. Take a rest. If you don't have a partner, you're just going to have to do it yourself. Or put your on your own. Or put your feet. One. Or put your feet under the sofa. Two. Three. <laughs> four. Five. Six. 
Seven. Are you counting, Tantner? Eight. Nine. Good. It's starting to rain on my face. I know. Ten more for Tant Man. Ready. Five. One. Two. Three. Okay, arms across your chest. Don't pull your legs. Three. Four. <laughs> come on, Bright and Tanner's getting stronger. You gonna come join us? Five. <gasps> He's building muscles. The good part Six. is it's not raining in my fort. Seven. Eight. Nine. Nine. Oh, you're doing great. Ten. Are you gonna hold my feet now? Midball! Midball. Arms across my chest. Ready. You gonna count for me, big guy? Yep. One. And give it to me. Okay, what's Good. next? Push ups! 10 for kindergartner. Release, go and all, 20 the way, for me. <laughs> all the way down. Release push ups. Ooh. Good. To the ground and push back up. Two. Everybody else, you guys get to do two sets of 10 Three. or 20, however you want to break it up. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Ten. I did ten. We have ten more to One, do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. We're ready. Let the games begin. What do you remember about soccer yesterday, Tanner? What did we learn? Dribble. Dribble. And where did we Dribble learn? Dribble point. Where did we learn to hit the ball on our feet? Remember? On the insides of your feet, right here for dribbling. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm Tanner doing. Tanner and I are going to dribble down this green patch. Can you dribble down there, Tanner? And back. And I'm going to use some of these markers. I'm going to set them up like cones. You could use cups. You could use anything you've got to set down and dribble around. So we're going to dribble in and out of these balls, tapping the balls on the inside of our feet. All right, Tanner, can you dribble back and forth? Brenton, I'd like you to stay out of the video, OK? Thank you, unless, okay. you're, unless you're going to join us. How's it going, Tanner? Good, I'll put down two more. Wait. Here I come, dribbling my ball. Back and forth. Woo, starting to rain. Yeah. Fun outdoors. It's okay if you've got more people going at the same time. You just have to ignore them. ball handling skills you can do would be trapping the ball. We learned that yesterday. If the ball is going, are you, um, if the ball is going, you put your foot on it to stop it. You can also reverse the ball by pulling it underneath you, turn around, changing direction like this. Trapping and reversing. Something else that we've done in class would be tick-tock, hitting the ball back and forth on the inside of your feet. Back and forth. Practicing that, you could do that in small spaces, maybe in a garage or carport, if you've got one. A carport? Or What's a carport? gently in your 
bedroom with your parents' permission. Uh, knee taps. You can bring the ball up to your knee, tap it on. If you can catch it, that would be great. Right here. You can see if you can do more than one knee tap in a row. For those of you that are a little bit more advanced with soccer, you could do juggling, working on how many times you can hit it with your knee and your feet. Okay, Tanner. With our markers, we're gonna dribble up the hill and around our objects. Should we throw these out into the yard and dribble them up and around? Here we go. Gotta stay on the outside of the balls. <laughs> Do you see them? I wanna throw them. I'm making a circle, so we have to go up the hill and around our markers. Here we go. Up the hill. Something we don't get to do in PE is go up a hill if you've got one. All the way around, back down, and I'm gonna go in and out of my markers now. In and out, come on, Tanner, are you coming? Right there. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. You can set up your course and try dribbling in and out. Pick where you want to go. I got here too. You got here too. Awesome. <laughs> All right. Yesterday we also worked on uh, kicking a goal or trying to kick a target. I used the bulkhead down there and was kicking off the wall. We can quickly review that. I'll see if I can get these guys doing the same thing. Okay, guys, bring your balls down here. No. <laughs> alternate feet. Yesterday we were kicking with our dominant foot. We planted with our, <coughs> our uh, opposite foot, toe to target, and we followed through with the inside of our foot with our dominant foot. We're going to alternate. Plant with your right, kick with your left, plant with your right, left, kick with your right. You're going to do one and then the other and let that ball come back to you. Plant, kick, other side, plant, kick. <laughs> oh, looks like somebody got the ball on their laces if it left the ground. <laughs> plant, kick, trap, plant, kick, trap, plant, kick. Bringing it back, plant, kick. Whoop! I got it with my laces too. Getting it in the dirt pit. Dirt pit, dirt pit. Okay. Let's go ahead and clean off our balls in the grass. And then kick them out. Yeah, kick it out of the garden. Woohoo! Or lack of garden. Dirty. Kick it out of the dirt. Yeah, let's kick it around and clean up these balls. Have them lose their dirt before we smash it. Let's do some partner passing. You guys ready? Partner passing? I need one partner. Who's going to be my partner? Okay, Brighton's gonna head down there. Which ball are we gonna use, Brighton? This one. That one? All right. It's awesome. Okay, Tanner, are you gonna do partner passing too? Plus. Or are you out? I'm partner I'm passing. You're partner passing? So I'm going over here. Okay, well why don't you get your ball? Get your ball out of the garden. Hey. Okay, Brighton, I'm gonna plant my foot, plant my non-dominant foot, go to target, kick with the inside of my foot to pick that ball to you. Keeping it on the ground, maybe I needed a little heftier kick. You're gonna plant that foot to Tanner. Whoop. Here, Tanner, here it comes. Get ready. Trap it with your feet. Yeah, no hands. Excellent. Now, if you've got a partner to pass with, this would be a great game for you guys to play outside. Back and forth. You can mix it up. You could have somebody be goalie. Your goalie.